Hey, hey, Veronica. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. Excellent. A, a, a nice day. It's uh, the 1st of December. Finally, 2020 finish. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's, That's right. It's so close, almost, almost finished uh, 2020. I think it's been maybe one of the most difficult years in that I have experienced. Yeah, most of us, really. Mm -hmm. Let's I, think, uh, I think so. I think, you know, it's, it's interesting that we have a lot of maybe, you know, all of us have had problems or uh, situations or things, but I think this is the first year everyone that I know has suffered in some form, you know, with, with something. Yeah, that's right. But maybe the next year will be almost the same, I think, or maybe we, we are going to to um, make him peace with this situation, I think. <laughs> I have the custom, we, we are having the custom to, to be like that, I think. Yeah, 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 because now it's, for example, now is is at the beginning, not it's not a habit, but now it's a habit of, okay, hey, the mask, don't forget the mask. It, it go back, go back to the house for the mask because if not, they don't allow you to go into the stores, into the bus, in anywhere. You have to have. This is part of the routine that you need to have. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Before, right. before it was oh, remember the keys, remember your cell phone. Hmm. <laughs> now is more important the mask. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. All right, I see we have a nice little group, so we're going to get started with our groups. We're going to have three little ones. Um, we're just going to catch up on today's activities. We're going to uh, ask our partners. Uh, remember to focus on WH questions. Use the idea for, you know, uh, we can use did, simple past, or we can use have, uh, which is the perfect tenses. What have you uh, eaten? Where have you gone? Um, things like that, okay? So we'll just take a few minutes to help us uh, remember and get some more people in. How are you? I'm, I'm so so. Really? Huh. I will, I will go into a sleep. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. I, it's, it's like a little bit, I feel tired all the time. These days are very hard to me because <clears throat> it's, 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 uh, the, the work is getting more, more busy and busy and busy those day, this day. I, I remember uh, you manager. Yeah. Yes, yes, I, I, I understand you. Job is very difficult. Kind of, yeah. But... Um. Not really, you know, with this situation, um, uh, it's not going to be the same, you know. Um, we had to stay uh, at home, so I don't, I don't think, I don't have plans to go out to or visit uh, family or uh, stuff like that, or, or friends, you know. Um, just staying home with my family here. I... I um, we cook uh, and we drink uh, and we 
sometimes. Yeah, yeah, we share with with, with my brothers and my and my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay, yeah. excellent. And what you, about you? Ah, uh, I <laughs> Christmas. Uh, Are I, you married? Yeah, yeah, I am married. Okay. Yeah, at Christmas I I stayed I spent my time with uh, the uh, family's wife. Okay. Oh, okay. I stay here in, in Santa Tecla, but uh, the New Year Eve uh, I will going to New Year. Re repeat. New Year Eve. Uh huh. Is correct, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I will I going to visit my mom in, in La Union, the poor La Union. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna uh, you you're gonna spend your your uh your uh, New Year Eve in La Union? Yeah, in La Union. Yeah. Oh, I see. Have you ever visit well, La Union? Um. I be in the uh what's the name of this town? Uh, oh my god. Uh, Santa Rosa de Lima? No. No. Um another one who what has a lot of No. I'm in, in my house. Uh, no, but but the, the the normal day is in the campus. Yes, the campus. Ah. But it, because of the pandemic, pandemia, I'm working off my house, from my house. Yeah, me too. I I think that nobody else are, are working in the campus. Yeah, I think only the, in the bodega. Yeah, mm -hmm. administration, uh, the manager, no, I, I don't know how do you say. But the people that are in the reception, mm. they I, I know that they are working because they are receiving the invoices for the supplier. Yes, yes, you're right. So, yeah. In car or um I never I never try to to uh, um to that beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. There's a nice nice beach, the tamarindo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Welcome, Rocio. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hi, Hi. Rocio. How are you? It's good to see we have several people back. We're ready. Okay, so uh, just to catch up a little bit on the things, um, today we're going to be taking a look at the pronunciation of the auxiliaries. And this not only is the auxiliaries, but um, people have a tendency to shorten the pronunciation of many words, okay, and they change them. It's not that it's correct, it's just the common form. So many times you hear words like with have, has, or is, was, and they eliminate these. Um, and they just put in the S or they put in um, a different pronunciation. They, they completely said, if you don't know, maybe you get confused. So many times you'll see in the movies or something, the people will say, I have to go to the movies or I have to go to work. But when they speak, they don't use the correct pronunciation and they say, I have to. And they'll say, I have to, I have to work instead of I have to work. Okay. Or, no. Oh, or for example, instead of saying my girlfriend is nice, my girlfriend's nice. And they'll, they'll put this S into the, this uh, first word or the noun. So today we're gonna see a little bit about that. Um, it's just, like I said, it's not that you have to speak in that way, it's just so that it's clear for you when you hear someone, um, you know what they're talking about. You understand that it's really the same thing, okay? And how is called that picture? Right here. Okay. Do you see it, Vanna? And how, how, how 
how is the name of that kind of expression when you don't say the whole word? It, right there, in some, it's in my screen, reduction of auxiliary ah. verbs. Uh -huh. It's because it's not, it's not so much, um, because it's not correct, it's just the, the way that people have it, okay? So we're gonna hear a couple of different examples just so you have an idea. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. One more time, it's pretty fast, just so that we can make sure we get it. In a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. You hear that? Fresh water's being wasted, not fresh water is being wasted. They don't pronounce the I. Fresh water's being wasted. Just in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. You see, they don't say too much trash has been created. It's just too much trash and then they put the S, too much trash being created. There's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. As I mentioned, it's just for the it's still the words that they're still using have or has and things like that, okay? so. In this exercise, really, it's more about listening and just identifying what they're talking about. So when you do the exercise, hang on, my computer is acting up. All right, so when you do the exercise, um, you're just gonna listen and put in order what each person is talking about, okay? You're gonna hear those different contractions, but it's the same idea. The is, 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 or instead of have, you'll hear of, similar to a contracted word, except instead of having it where it's supposed to be, they just create it. Okay. I don't know if there's any questions about that part of the, the pronunciation. Like I said, not that you have to learn how to pronunciate like that, it's only so that you understand when someone says it. It's kind of like in Spanish, when the, you understand the X and the S, and you under, I understand that people mispronunciate it, and it's normal that you hear people say Pixina, and you hear people say Piscina. And it's not that it exists, but it's the common way for people to speak. So it's important that you understand that it's the same thing. But I have a question, right. but it is okay uh, speak like that? Oh. It's just the same as the Spanish. It's not okay, but people speak like that. You can speak like that, but it's not professional, if that answers your question. Okay. Elizabeth? No, I was thinking in uh, one um, phrase or one word that uh, most, mostly uh, black people use like ain't 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 mm -hmm. like i'm i'm not i, I think it's is the is the contraction that's correct that's correct it's not i i they don't say i am not they say mm -hmm. i ain't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's actually it's used by urban people uh more more than anything so it has to do more with the the socioeconomic which tends to be black so that's why you hear them say a lot because in the movies and TVs, they say, I ain't going to go to work tomorrow. Yeah. And, then, and then you'll hear somebody who is white and they'll say, I am not going to go to work tomorrow. And, yeah. it's, the same, and it's the same thing. And it's the same. Uh -huh. Now, like that's part of what Veronica's question is. Is it correct to say it? No. Do people understand you if you say it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it professional? No. Should you use it? No. Should you know it? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And you should know it because you never know who your clients are going to be. You never know uh, which people you're going to talk to. And some people have bad English, just like some people have bad Spanish, but not because they have bad English, you are going to not come have a conversation with them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, that's just mainly about the listening and then Today, uh, we're going to be going on to 2.6, 2.7, and talking about um, giving solutions to problems, okay? For this one, I actually, I need a couple of people to read. Hang on, we'll take a look here. I need one person to be Carla, one person to be Andy, and that way we can read the conversation together. I want to put Okay, Manik, thank you very much. You can be Carla. I need one more person. Okay, Romulo, can you please be Andy? Okay. Uh, look, all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, well, there is a factory outside town. Yes, Hello? No. Sorry. <laughs> okay, repeat again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, there is a factory outside town that's pumping chem chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is, but a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is, is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad policy. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industri Industries. Oh no, my uncle is one of the top executives. Lucky hey. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Now, we, we need to be clear in the lines. You notice that we naturally use the long form, like that is, or there is, or when we use um, the word is, but when, but many times you're not going to hear the people use is, you're gonna hear the contraction, there's, that's, uh, it's, things like that, um, like in many of those cases. So it's important to get used to it uh, because most people will use the contraction and the contraction is correct when it's the verb to be. The, the difference is in the other forms where the people just eliminate it. First, are there any words there in the conversation that you don't know or any words that are not clear? I, I have a question, teacher, for the pronunciation. Chemicals is correct? Is Chemical. Chemicals. Mm -hmm. Ch chemicals. Ke. Ke. Chemicals. Okay, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Chemicals. chemicals. Any other words for pronunciation or meaning? Okay, let's listen to the conversation, all of it, that way it's clear. Solution to problems? Listen to the conversation and find out about the problem Carla and Andy talk about and what solutions they come up with. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is, but a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then, another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes. Companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh, no. My uncle is one of their top executives. 
What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Wait a minute. Okay. Are there any questions before we listen to the second part of the conversation? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, great. Now listen, and what do they decide to do? Or what are the, what happens next? What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Wait a minute. Before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see what exactly is happening. How do we do that? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. We can get some friends to help. Okay. And maybe I could talk to my uncle about it. Oh, no. I don't think that's a good idea. Not yet, anyway. Why not? I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until we have a clearer picture of what is going on. After we've monitored the situation for a while, then we can decide whether we need to have a meeting with a representative of the company to tell them what we've discovered. Okay, Carla? Okay. Did you listen to the entire conversation? If you did, tell me what Carla and Andy decide to do. All right. So, the situation. What do they decide to do? Take pictures and some and some samples of the water. Okay, excellent. They're planning to take pictures and some samples. Anything else? Carla wants to talk her Speak uncle. Her. Okay. Carla, and is his Car idea is bad. Okay. So is Carla going to talk to her uncle? Uh, no yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, all right. And what about the TV and the other things that they mentioned in the first part? Are they going to do that? Are they going to talk to the TV station, get that publicity? Maybe. She, they say something like fact, they need fact to straight. Correct. What's they will be monitor, how this, monitoring the situation. Correct. They say both. They're going to monitor the situation and that they need to get their facts straight. That means they need to make sure they have the correct information. They need to make sure that the information or what they are saying is true. They don't want to accuse somebody incorrectly of it. Okay. That's the idea of need to get their facts straight. Okay, fact, mm -hmm. fact, straight. Okay, now many of this is, when you hear them, they're using what's called uh, infinitive clauses. What we're hearing is, we're hearing how they're proposing the solutions or the different things. So here, we can see that what they talk about is, as an example, they say one thing to do uh, about it is, and then they use the phrase, and whatever the solution they have. In this case, to talk to the company's management. Okay, another is the infinitive clause is to stop them. Another way to stop them is, and then they use a complete uh, phrase, okay, to get a TV station to run a story, okay, or the same. So how does it this help us? Well, we start off by using our opinion or thinking about our solution, okay? So what's Normally, the phrases that we use, one thing, another way, the best way, the worst way, the, um, the proper way, or the correct thing to do, or the nice thing to do, or things like that. That's what we use at the beginning, okay? It's that kind of a, that opinion of what you think is the, the way that things should be done. And then you talk about the situation, okay? What do you need to do, okay? You, you need to stop them. You need to uh, fix the problem. You need to fight it. You need to uh, correct it. Whatever it is that you need, that's the next part. And then the last part is how are you going to do that? 
okay? How are you going to stop them? How are you going to fight it? How are you going to get them to do something about it? And that's the entire phrase at the end. So one more time, the structure is really in three parts. The first part is your what you propose, the, the way that you propose it, the solution, okay? Kind of like a, this is the best way or this is the terrible idea or the best idea that I've heard, okay? And then what are you talking about? Ah, the best idea to learn English or the best idea to uh, improve uh, or to get a bonus at work or to get a, whatever you're talking about. That's the next part, you use it with two. And finally, how you're going to get that bonus? How are you going to improve? The last part answers the question, how? Okay, so the, your opinion, what you are talking about, and then how you're going to solve it. Those are the structures that we use in order to get this. We're going to watch the video and so that we can understand a little bit more and see some more examples. But I wanted to explain to you because I think it's easier if you understand why we're seeing it and how the structures are formulated. This time we'll come up with infinitive clauses and phrases to come up with solutions. Pay attention and take notes. Infinitive clauses and phrases. One thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. The best ways to fight HIV AIDS are to do more research and educate people. Let's go back and notice the expressions used on the grammar box. One thing, another way, the best ways. With these expressions, we must continue using one way plus infinitive plus is or are plus infinitive. For example, one way to help the homeless is to build more public housing. Now that you have learned to give solutions, can you think of two more for these problems? Remember to do it on our discussion box. Okay. Before we do our exercises and we go through it, are there any questions on how to structure it? No, teacher. What? We use uh, the infinitive verb but twice, right? Correct. You use it the first time when you're talking about the thing, okay? Um, to stop them, to help them, what, what you're talking about, what is your plan? And then the second part is you're using it to describe how you're going to do that. Okay. Know why it keeps moving but okay so here we have as an example we can see we have one way okay or a way or the best way or whatever your statement that's the first part the second part is what you're talking about to help the homeless to fix the um, the lights to repair the streets to learn english to get a better job to whatever you want that's the second part okay and then the last part is how are you going to do that? Ah, to build more public schools, to get better buses, to train people, to uh, learn English. That is how you're going to do the different things that you proposed. So as an example, let's say, um, let's take something easy. I want to get in shape, all right? I want to become better physically, okay? What can I do? Exactly, but how do we structure it with that? Well, we need to start with the one thing, the best thing, uh, um, a good way. We, we need to use that expression, those phrases at the beginning. A good way to get in shape is to do exercise. A great way to reduce weight is to watch your diet. You see how we're talking about? We're talking about first our opinion, 
what is the, the thing that we're talking about, the problem to get in shape, to, um, to become fit, to improve our English, whatever it is that we're talking about. That is the, the object. And finally, how are we going to do that? Okay, so I want to be a millionaire. I want to have money. I want to, woo! okay, what can I do? Um, one thing that you can do is invest in some business. Very good, Bonnie. Now we're going to eliminate the people. We're going to eliminate that you can do or I can do. We're going to put it in general. So no people, nobody specific. So we're going to use the same structure. One thing to do is to invest in businesses. So you see, this is the idea. We're, we're not changing only for you because this solution is not only for me. This is a solution in general that we can talk about. Does that make sense for everyone? Or one more example or it's okay? One more, please. One okay, more. of course, Vera, of course. All right, let's say um, I, I want to... Uh, I want to surprise my wife. I want to surprise my wife, my wife, Veronica. What can I do? How can I surprise her? First, you begin with your statement. The statement is your decision. If it's the best way, it's one way, it's our way, it's a good way. It's, this is the first part, a statement you choose. This is kind of like your opinion, what you think about it. Okay, so you start with that. You can say, uh, one thing that you can do is take her to a dinner. Almost correct. The same that we talked about with Vane. Eliminate the people. Eliminate the people and only put the things. So, no one thing you can do. One thing to do. One, one, you have to speak in general. Mm -hmm. Okay. One thing to do is take her to dinner. No. Good. Yes, yes. One thing to do is to take her to dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you see how? So it's three parts. First part, the opinion second part the situation and third part how you solve that situation okay. so one way this is my opinion this is one of many ways or my maybe your opinion is the best way this is your opinion okay that's the first part the best way the best way what is the topic ah to surprise uh your wife or to surprise someone okay Yes, only with an R, Rocio. Uh, for you is with R, your wife. And then the rest is correct. Is to give her a new pair, what did Rocio say? A new pair of shoes. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's right. That's the year. Mm -hmm. Is that a little bit better, guys? Or one more example, or are we okay? Mm, everybody's kind of quiet. Everybody's kind of quiet. It's what Rocio says. Only Rocio I see with the finger up. Okay. All right. Jose, do you wash clothes? Yes, I wash my clothes. All right. Okay. Every week. Every week. Okay. And how do you wash the clothes? Uh, with the machine. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah. But do you separate uh, the clothes? Do you put them all together? Yes. Um, separate the dark colors with the, my white t-shirts and my jeans, my blue jeans and any kind of jeans, right? Okay. And the other clothes. Okay. Oh, and my towels. My towels. Um, I I love to watch a, a port. Okay. And why do you separate it? 
because I think um, it's important to know um, to not um, get dirty the other goes. get stain get a stain right okay so this is exactly what we do we're talking about the situation okay uh, the best way to clean my clothes okay or um, the way uh, uh, or, or a good way to clean your clothes, whatever you want, but in general, right? A good way to clean your clothes is to separate them before washing them, is to wash them every week, is to, you know, to maintain them clean, okay? Or to wash them by hand, whatever your opinion is. So first your opinion, the situation, and then how you're going to do that. That's the, the main idea, okay? So, one more time. First, whatever it is, the opinion here in the, in, the, in the platform, they give you three, right? But in reality, there are so many more. You can use the best way, the worst way, the good, I, uh, a, a, a good idea, uh, um, you know, a nice thing to do is, you know, whatever you want. You can use different forms. It's not only one, but it helps because they they give you a couple of options so that's a good thing then you're going to talk about the topic what is it uh to you know to clean your house to um to i don't know to surprise someone whatever the situation that you want to talk about finally is how you're going to do that action okay so i want to make lasagna okay i want to make pupusas okay the best way to make pupusas is Okay, whatever your opinion is. And that's how you're going to end up practicing it. I don't know if that's a little bit better. Does, does anybody have any questions on that part? No. No, okay. I'm a okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make partners and we're gonna practice it, okay? How are we gonna practice it? Fairly simple. What we're gonna do is each partner is going to give a situation to your partner. You're going to tell them um, a problem or something that you want. Okay. So um, I don't know. I want to find a perfect present. I want to get a better job. I want to, whatever it is. And then I give my opinion. Okay. Uh, I, I, I want a new phone. Okay. I want the best phone. Okay. So whatever you want. And then it's your opinion to find the best phone or, or um, the best way to get a good phone or whatever, whatever you think, that's what you're going to do. Put that in the statement. That's the first part. And then how or the solution is in the last part. What is the solution that goes at the end? All right, let's try it then. Let's hang on. We're going to change groups so we can have a little bit of variety. Tell me everything okay? Any questions? So let's practice so, about uh, a statement okay. or any situation about. No. Someone or anything. A situation? What? Um, um I want to the 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 stripe the dry hair. Oh, you want to dry your hair? Yeah. Okay. 
So I, I need to give you like a solution. Thank you. Correct. Um, oh, okay. I want I want to more told. <laughs> no, I, I'm gonna give friends. Uh, I hope you say it. Uh, prices. Huh? Prices or characteristics. Yeah, prices and characteristics too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Another one. I want to. I want to gain weight. Gain weight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think the best way to gain weight is to consume a lot of proteins and make it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna ask the teacher. Oh. Ask me. Go ahead, Elizabeth. Uh, how how do you say straight? Is um. Homeless dogs. Stray dogs. Stray? Yeah, dogs. that was right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that okay. was right. I, I wasn't sure that stray, because it sounds like stray dogs. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like straight, but it's only with the Y, stray. Okay. Only? Only? I put in the chat. Don't worry, Patty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stray, stray dogs. Yeah, so I was saying, Pat, um, Patricia, that I would like to help um, stray, stray dogs. I don't know. I, I feel that you can pick me. But I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Another situation. Uh, Ah, I have a question. How to be less stressful? No, okay. Repeat. How to be uh, less stressful, stressful or more relaxing? More relaxing? How to? Um, one thing to do to to have what um yeah a teacher can i say one thing to do to have less stressful to have less stress okay if you want to use stressful is b to be less stressful or to have less stress to be no to be to be to be less stressful correct so one thing to be less stressful is to organize better your time yeah. and take a take a, a little vacation. Okay. I try to put it separate. Yes, and but. I think that I'm not too organized, but I guess I try to separate my, my personal things and the oh. things that I use more frequently, for example. And yes, I mean that. I think that. Oh, that, that's that great. My shoes, they are, um, they are, in, in, <laughs> they are not organized. <laughs> Uh, I thinking about the uh, lipsticks and makeup for your mother to buy for your mother makeup. I think. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, uh, you're welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs> it's now your okay. turn. It's my turn. To clean. I would like to. Um, to to eat for a good meal, good meal. What do you restaurant or what do you play? Do you do you uh, suggest me? Suggest me. Or well, I think that you should try something exotic like sushi or sea 
seafood, something out of this world. <laughs> I like it, your idea about the seafood. Uh, so maybe the... you can try Soho, that is a restaurant. Ah, tutorial. Tutorial, yeah. One thing to do about it is uh, watch a tutorial, tutorial video in YouTube. Tutorial video in YouTube, yeah. Okay. Yes, it's, a, uh, it's a, the best way to to do something, right? Yes. More in the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me see. What's your turn? It's my turn, yeah. I, I want to... I want to... Hmm. I want to escalate uh, the Isalco volcano. The Isalco volcano. Well, the best way to escalate the, the Isalco volcano is to. Uh, uh, let me see. Um, get, get up early. Uh, climb, and... climb. Thank you, teacher. Sorry? Climb. I want I want climb. to climb climb. Yeah. Climb. Uh, climb. It's near yes. the hacienda. Yeah. Yeah, I know the, the place. Yeah, that's another way to to get your computer. Yeah. Exactly. Or well, I think yeah, another way to, to get uh the computer is um, um, to uh, to search in the OLX. Sometimes they have a a really special um, um, uh, offers. I buy I buy only eggs, but not computers. I don't know. I don't know. But have you ever as um, have you make a search in the oil eggs of the computer? The computer not. I find the other products. No. Oh. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you you can find um uh, you know good stuff in there in that um uh, in that page, yeah. Hey teach. Hey hey, any questions? I you guys seem to do everything pretty good. Mm hmm any questions for anything? Any, any suggestions? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always think about it as giving a solution to a, a situation or describing how you would solve it. So here we're practicing the a partner is giving you a problem, right? But also it can be in general. For example, when you present a solution to your boss, uh, when there's a problem at work, when there's uh, something wrong with, the, I don't know, the the assembly the line the the project whatever okay so then that's when you use the structure okay in order to fix the uh, I don't know the the problem or in order to repair wh whatever it is that you're talking about in your job then you give the solution that's how you use it okay that's that is really the the best way here because we're practicing little by little to make it easier but in reality is to express your opinion state the problem and give a solution to the problem. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. We are so, trying, trying the solution. Exactly, exactly. Sorry. Like, for example, for COVID, we are talking about a COVID and okay, and you say, oh, the best way to, uh, to stop COVID is to wear a mask. Okay, it's not, it's not necessary mm -hmm. that someone asks you. It's only, is the, that's why the first part is your opinion. 
what do you think? The one way, the best way, a good way? That's the first part. The second part is, what is the problem? And the third part is, how to solve that problem. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll let you yeah. guys continue yeah. practicing, yeah. And that, right now it's, it's easy because we, 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 our partner give us a situation, but what you want to do is you want to use it, uh, just talking about different solutions. Uh, I don't know if uh, it's Salvador has so many problems, uh, crime, violence, human rights, uh, re reproduction, and it's all of them the same for your job. All it is is yeah, just your opinion on how to solve that problem. Correct. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. Omi, Omi, what happened, my friend? Hello, teachers. Uh, my my classmate, uh, um, she's lost gone. The, she lost the she's connection. <laughs> no, the family, uh, I think it is, uh, they go out for your home. Oh. Uh -huh. I think if they uh, take a, a dinner, go out at home. Okay, all right, Omi. I'm going to move you to another group then, okay? Okay, okay. All right, perfect. when my mate uh, dragged me just uh, to ask him uh, maybe some favor. But when I, I, I see that, that notification, <laughs> I, I, I feel angry. I feel hungry. I feel angry. And... Really? <laughs> <laughs> and <it's> stressful. <laughs> and my day is going down. The... Um, but I try to, 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 to be always in there and try to, to see my WhatsApp groups, my Telegram, and yes. my, my mail. For an emergency, an emergency. She's like, hmm. One, she, she doesn't like the One good, one good gift could be, uh, flowers flowers to her like a, a what do you say arreglo arrangement like arrangement mm -hmm. flower a flower arrangement a flower arrangement to her uh, yeah maybe yeah the last year i gave her a plant <laughs> Oh. Okay, guys, great to see and hear that you're actually using it and put it into practice. Um, just a couple of tips to help you out. Um, Remember that this is really the, the, the idea of this structure is to give solutions to problems, okay? It's not so much to ask for or to say, but it's to give a statement, okay? So you're having a conversation or there's a situation and you use these structures to give your opinion and to give a solution. So it's not just, oh, I don't like it, okay? But you use it is in order to express it, okay? The best way to fix it, or the best way to uh, make it taste better, or the best way, or a good way to do that, and then your solution to the situation, okay? So if you ever have, if you ever go shopping for something and you don't like the product, or you have bad service, or whatever, this is the structure that you use to give your opinion and then tell them how to solve it. Are there any questions about it? 
I, I, I heard everybody using it correctly. I just want to make sure that you can understand that it's, it's not only someone has to give you a, a problem. You can give your, your opinion, okay? I think the best way to learn English is, uh, is to practice every day. That's it. It's not necessarily a problem. It's just my opinion on how to do that action. Right. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Great. We're going to pause right there then. And we're going to, this was the infinitive clauses and phrases. And we're going to continue again tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Teacher. All right. Teacher, guys. So I, yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Where's the end of the, of this uh, course? It's on December, one, two, three, December 10th. December okay. 17th. Thursday, okay. December 17th. Okie dokie. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. Have a nice night and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Night, night, guys. Thank you. Right. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Bye, classmates. Bye. Bye-bye.